Hello everyone, Atrim and John here, and we are doing round two of our um, eight man, and well, it's a marginal keep or it's a mole. Yeah, whichever is. I'm gonna. Fine. Mold. This is fine. I've okay. actually got no complaints with this hand. I guess it's better than the other one. It actually does stuff, unlike the other one. Which is something you want with this deck. You want hands that can do stuff. I mean, yeah. we, we have a turn to a play, and then we have removal for it. See, that's the beauty about the Rakshasha Death Dealers, John. Is it makes you able to play almost like the Jeskai Tempo deck, where you can just play a threat and then remove all your opponent's stuff. Yeah, but you can do that with the Lion, too. Yeah, but... Oh, well, we get a turn two carry <laughs> You're right. I have the master of drawing those things, aren't yep. It's like almost every single fracking time I can do it. Although with this hand, we might want the Dust Dealer. What do you think? He's on Abzan as well. I actually want yeah. the Dust Dealer. I just gave him mana, by the way. But Yeah, I know. I'd rather give him a mana source off of his land. Oh. Did you just say you wanted the Death Dealer? Yes, and, then and I clicked the carry tid by accident. <laughs> okay. I... I would have played the Death Dealer in real life. So, <laughs> let's figure out what would have happened if we had done this like Logan said he would. <laughs> Freaking crap. <laughs> <laughs> so we would have a 2-2 on the field. Our opponent would have played a Plains. See if he has a lion here. No, he has thought seize. Probably oh, taking the death dealer. dealer. Probably taking the death dealer. Taking the death dealer. Oh, uh, that's so bad. Okay, well, Charm should draw some cards. There. Maybe. Right. Charm, I don't know. Charm will draw us cards, which will get us going. Yeah, we're drawing cards with Charm. <laughs> if you're going to draw cards, you might have wanted to just do it there so you could hit a temple if that was our land. Um. I could have. Yeah, because he knows we have. So. Right. If we draw a Taplin and then a Johnny or something, that'd be pretty bad. I have a feeling he's just going lion here and we're just going to exile a little bit. Oh, he's going his own carry. Dude. Okay, so if he's only on two lands. Oh, he played his own air board. So. I'm going to draw cards here. Green, white, black. Wow. Drew Abzan Charm, Hero's Downfall. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm going to Abzan Charm again. I think so, yeah. Can hit a land. Black, green, white. Or, you know, not. Who needs lands, right? Hmm, that's pretty bad. This hand is not panning out. <laughs> well, we've, we've drawn four cards, and this hand would not have panned out if we had not drawn cards. And it's still gonna be in rough shape. Okay, sure, thought save this. Whatever. Technically, it's gas, I guess. Right? <laughs> Maybe he takes Corsair here? Probably, so that way it's harder for us to hit land drop. Bad Corsair. See ya. He's just like, okay, so every creature I play <laughs> dies. <laughs> right. Except for those. Except for those. If he has a Planeswalker, that's kind of bad. He was downfall. Yeah, but he still gets a little value out of it. Sure. I mean, oh, there you go. I'm going to play Kitty Demon. Mm hmm. Go, go, Kitty Demon. Go. Apparently, I can draw multiple Rakshasha Death Dealers too. So that's yeah. Good. Death Dealer should be okay against him. So, so what do we do, do with, with these, these charms? charms? Um, I might draw it one more time with them and then just leave the re the other for removal. Yeah, I think drawing is fine. I mean, I'm gonna gain life at some point. Especially so. if if we hit a Planeswalker here. Right. That'd be pretty good. Well, we didn't, but we hit a Scryland and a Carrotid, which is fine. Yeah. I'm going to do a Kitty Punch here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Diddy punch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I think, I, let's see, okay, so if I pump, then I you can't downfall or charm. Right, so yeah, no pump, because I, I want to play the tap land over the planes. Yeah. So, oh, he's going to do what? Utter end it? I guess, yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That yep. feels like a waste. <laughs> it, maybe it's not, but it felt wasteful. To his me. hand might be just I'm downfalls. Yeah, his hand could just be downfalls. I'm going to bottom that, and then I'm going to play another carry did. Yeah, we need to draw some gas at some point. Well, right now it's a gasless war, so mm -hmm. the fire's not spreading, at least. Until he actually plays his first threat. Which is coming out now. Here it comes. Soren. Boom. Alright, so he makes a vampire. And then Soren dies. Yep. And then well, technically, it actually dies before he makes the vampire, but. Yeah. <laughs> so Soren's like dying as he's like, oh god, make a vampire! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he turned into the vampire. Maybe he did. But that's a pretty weak vampire for Soren. Oh, he, I think he's on the Ari Lax list. Yeah, I, I think, think he is. Do you have so, the ability to pull that up in the background for me? Oh, I basically know it. Okay. Uh, that means he's got three Elspeths. Yeah. Two Sorens. I think we should draw again, again, to be honest. Yeah, actually, I'm fine drawing again. I mean, he's not applying any pressure, which yeah. makes me just go, okay. We've drawn eight, eight cards. We will have drawn eight cards. Maybe we can finally get... No, 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 <laughs> we can't get anything. There's, like, no threats in our deck, apparently. Mm -hmm. Our deck is threatless. Right. <laughs> Well, Bioblight Bio doesn't do much. We could just kill um, the vampire. I, the other option is Bioblighting our own Karatid to kill his Karatids. Yeah, yeah, but it, it doesn't actually do much. It takes him down to, well, six mana. I'm, do you want we Bio should, yeah. yeah, let's Bioblight this thing. Yeah. Fuck it. Screw it. Die! <laughs> hey, finally we hit a threat. Okay, that's pretty good. We can we can hit threats. They do exist, John. <laughs> sure. And now we have utter end up. And you know, also downfall, but we can only do one this turn. Our and it dies. Our rhino's dying, by the way. <laughs> yep. Yep. So we've drawn eight more cards than he has. Yeah, this game might go down to time. If you can, you should try and play as quickly as possible. I'm trying. Clearly he has nothing threatening right now. Yep. But he's running more Planeswalkers than we are, so eventually, if it goes forever, he's going to win. If it does go forever, he does win that. Ugh. I don't want to play the Wingmate Rock on its own, though, versus him. Mm. Well, I think it's fine, actually, because it draws out a... Th uh, removal, and it's a four-turn clock. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it seems like the right play. Because we've just we're just sitting on removal spells, and we now actually have a clock on the field. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think it's fine. And it's dead. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> I didn't want that silly wingmate rock anyway. <laughs> kind of wanted it. I know. Shut up. All right. So best draw is a Johnny or Sword or Elspeth. Actually, Elspeth is absolutely the Sword's best. Sword's perfectly fine though. Yeah, Sword's great. It's vampire time. Sword, make a vampire, and then we still have him on a four-turn clock with life link, which is good for us. And we still have removal up. Mm -hmm. 
He well, we did draw eight cards. Right. Yeah. We did draw eight cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's he got now? Another elf? Something else? Of course. Oh, he's got a rhino. Inbound. How do you feel about like killing, killing the Corsair? I, I, I was just about to say that. I'm like, I kind of feel like I should kill the Corsair. Yeah. Goodbye, Corsair. I think we want to just, just push, push our, our card, card advantage, advantage that we already have, have and, and that, that includes, includes killing, killing Corsair. Corsair. Yeah. I'm going to play our Corsair. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to plus Soren and get in for three. So we Come know on, he's drawing like... Rhino. Yeah, he's got Rhino we have. Windswept oh, yeah. Teeth off the top. And crack the Windswept Teeth in response yeah. to the Life Gain Trigger because I carry it did. I don't want to fucking carry it did. Another <laughs> no Soren. Um, that makes me almost want to just minus our Soren. Uh, I don't, I don't think, think we should. Are. No? Because if, if we plus... plus... Nah, well, there's, there's no, no reason, reason to minus. minus. Just to help our... Um, our killing of him, but, alright. Maybe, the only reason would have been, since we know we're drawing one, and he's drawing a rhino, you minus it's your yeah. two guys for the next sword to come in and pump for six yeah. damage. Because we know he's playing rhino, so the life totals are going to 13-16. We're drawing another Soren, so we want to actually minus Soren anyways, and then maybe play the other one, but it's hard to say. Oh, we got another wingmate rock coming up. I'm gonna minus this one to keep him alive, but get another guy right now. Okay. Because if he swings with Rhino, I don't care if this Soren dies now. You know? Mm-hmm. Especially since we can play both Soren and wingmate rock in the same turn. Right. Uh, what did he... Oh, we killed off his course so we don't see what he's drawing. Another Corsair? Another Corsair. Probably. Alright. I'm debating utter ending his Rhino or his Corsair. I, I think don't... it's the Corsair, actually. Yeah, actually, I don't even really want to kill either of those. You don't care? Okay. I'm gonna save it for Planeswalker, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Attacking Soren. Should I block? Or just let Soren die? I think I just let Soren die. Yeah, it's, it's meant, meant to die. die. That's, That's what Soren does. Soren comes out, he makes a guy, sometimes he gains you a whole bunch of life, and then he just goes. Then he and dies. Goes. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, use this as my black. Or as my black. Because I, I guess we have carry tid, so it really doesn't matter. Mm. That. 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 Soren. Hey, so is it plus, plus or minus? minus? So if he draws Bioblight, or he can't. I don't. They don't have Bioblight main. I don't think. Or do they have one? Well, he's drawing caves also. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna plus Soren because it takes away half of his life total right now, and then Wingmate Rock should just seal the deal on it. I think he's dead. He's drawing caves on top. Yeah, he's drawing caves, and he has no cards in hand. Yeah, so he's so. dead. He shouldn't show us the card. Okay. Shows us swing mate rack. And then he dies. Then he dies. What you attacking? Me or sword? <laughs> Does it matter at this point? <laughs> yeah, F6. I always F4 instead of F6. Because F4 goes to the next trigger on the stack. Yeah. Alright, just for shits and giggles. Sure. <laughs> when we lose by one second, it'll be justice. But we won't lose by one second, so there will be no justice in your world. <laughs> Just fuck your justice. And dead. Uh, yep. Okay. So for the mirror, we actually don't want the Battle Blights. They're weak. We want the Ascendancy. We want the Whip. We want the Thought Seizes. Elspeth, Dune Blast, Elspeth, the Garrick, and the Dune Blasts. 
<laughs> so, we have six cards to take out. Um, do we want the Death Dealers? Probably. Death Dealers can... Yeah, Death Dealers are good in the mirror. Well, they um, can come out. You, you have, have to cut, cut something, something here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Death Dealer can come out. Do we actually need the extra Thought Seizes in the mirror? It's pretty good. Okay. I think when I board in the rest of the Planeswalker package, I usually board out one Soren. Okay, that's fine. Because you're boarding in an extra Elspeth and a Garrick. Does the whip do anything? You like whip? It gains you a lot of life in this mirror. But you're probably right. Yeah, yeah so I don't I think the whip actually whip does Whip is much. better against like the Jess guy and the burn decks. So. Yeah. Um, actually, I like Lily in this match. Yeah, yeah Liliana's fine. Um, I'd cut maybe one charm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll go with this. It boosts up our Planeswalker package. And Actually, I don't know if the Ascendancy is that great either. I think it's okay. Well, but so if you're cutting out death, the Death Dealers, Ascendancy yeah. goes down in the number of guys it does stuff with. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe Ascendancy doesn't belong in the board. Because yeah, it's only good sure. in corner cases. I'm not, not sure what it comes in against. Because it's not, not really good against control, control. They have a pair of assault. Right. This, this would be the, the match, match that you wanted, wanted but we're burning in all the other high impact stuff. stuff. Right. Well, game three, we can board out the ascendancy and put in something else. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yep. And turn two carry to. Is that just like my slogan now? <laughs> Turn yeah. your carry to go. <laughs> Even when I wanted to play something else, Moto's like, no, I am controlling your mind. You will play turn two carry it in. <laughs> right. That is exactly what happened. That will be your new name. Uh, if your name ever gets banned or something, you can restart as turn two carry it. We got the turn two carry it. After turn one thought sees. Okay. Into a turn three courser. Well, turn two carry it. Oh, he mulliganed? That's bad for him. Yeah. Well, if he thought seizes our carry it, we might get land screwed. We might, but I have a feeling he's going to play a tap land first and he mulled to five. Oh, boy. Ooh, crap. I think <laughs> he's in trouble. He mulled to four. Holy heck. <laughs> well, Thoughtseize is Thoughtseize GG. GG? Go. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. In fact, that's bad news for I'm Bad News. Yes, I'm Bad News is about to receive really bad news. <laughs> oh, double Thoughtseize? Oh. Take your Thoughtseize? He has Temple of Malady and Windswift. <laughs> okay. okay. So we actually have to give him a turn or two to draw cards? <laughs> yeah. So he kept the hand because it had Thoughtseize and lands. Yeah. Well, oh, that's, that's absurd. Turn two carried into turn three Corsair into turn four Soren. Yeah. Yay! I can play magic! <laughs> <laughs> uh, better, better to be, be lucky, lucky than good, good as usual. usual. Oh, come on. I'm trying to be both. That's how you become a pro, right? Sure. Uh, he's thought seizing us. Oh, well, he got us. Probably takes hard. Probably. Or he takes Corsair. Okay, he takes Sword. <laughs> does he have any? Does he have a non-land in hand? Do you think? Uh, I, think I think he has, he has a land. land. No, no stop, stop doing that. <laughs> what? You're doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah but you almost did it. No, I didn't. Almost. Oh. So I said almost. Uh, I think we just... Do you want a Windswept Teeth or a Tap Land? I kind of want a Tap Land that produces bla black... I want the Windswept Teeth. Okay, fine. Sure, whatever. Oh, hey, a Rhino. Well, well yeah, yeah, because, because it essentially draws us a card. That's, that's of what Corsair's course there, there for. So 
Rhino. Next back? turn we'll thought season. No, next turn we're playing Rhino. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh. Okay, about, we're thought, thought season. season. How about we thought these and play Rhino? Yeah. <laughs> that seems good, right? It that seems unfair. All right, open it up. Let me see what we got. Three oh, lines. murderous cut and a carry tid. How about we take murderous cut? Cause I don't actually yeah. give a shit about no carry tid. Why didn't you just play the carry tid? I don't know. Yeah, um, whatever. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, I mean he can murderous cut our rhino, and then still die. No, he just played. He can carry it tid and die. Oh yeah, cause we took the murderous cut. No, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, he, he's pretty much in trouble. Yeah, and upkeep you can get rid of the citadel? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carrington. Welcome to the field like you should have been last turn. Were <laughs> you really trying to hold up Murderous Cut? But he could have held up both. He could have just Carrington and still had Murderous Cut up. Like, it, it didn't make sense. Must have made sense somewhere in his mind. No, it made no sense, because if he... I don't know. Oh, Whatever. Hi, Elspeth. <laughs> oh, hi, other Elspeth. <laughs> oh, no. Can he scoop yet? Oh, no. We'll see. He has to scoop. He must scoop. Salty message? Probably. But not yet. He's waiting on that salty message. He wants to wait to give us the full, full salt. By the way, salty messages occur more often in standard, I think, right? Well, that seems to be the so truth. often in Modo, it's not even funny. Mm-hmm. Because it's much easier to give a salty message to a non, like, living, breathing person and to, your, to computerize something. Right. So, how do you propose we kill him? I kind of want to draw it into Bioblight and kill his character. <laughs> Just for the full. Rub <laughs> well, we boarded out the Bioblight, so we can't. Oh, dang it. No, no, no full Rubbins, John. I am not a full Rubbins man. <laughs> we could Thought Seize ourselves next turn. You really just want to rub this in his face, don't you? Fine, I'm playing Elspeth, though. Elspeth minus... Go. No, because then we actually can't kill him. <laughs> I'll plus her first, and then I'll minus her the next turn, okay? Okay. Sounds good. I want to make certain we still have lethal on the field. Let's play a land, at least. No, we don't need a land. Come on now. <laughs> That's part of the full rubbins. <laughs> oh, full rubbin time. Why doesn't he just scoop? Okay, thank you. Oh, and we're going right into the next round. Perfect. Alright, we'll see you in the next round.